Okay, so people complained before that my last video overview of the accelerator was not very good. So this is the MA11 electromagnetic accelerator and I have a new video camera that should be at least somewhat better. So the first thing that you can see is that it's actually on a tripod and the mounting on the tripod was 3D printed and it lets you swivel back and forth and then up and down. I actually don't have a lot of confidence in it so I put a bunch of uh, steel cables that just went to different parts of the accelerator to keep it all level and stable. So if we want to go over what we actually have here, the first thing that you can see is that there is a, uh, a long firing barrel that goes from one end of the machine to the other and at each of these stages we'll actually have one of those um, magnetic uh, electromagnetic coils. It's essentially a bunch of wires wrapped around that center uh, center tube. So if we're looking at it, what we'll actually do is put a round in there, and then each one of those magnets, one at a time, is going to fire it and accelerate it and accelerate it and accelerate it until it's going pretty fast and it hits the target. So the way that they do this is actually each one of them, as noted, is firing individually, and they have a sensor that's actually this... Uh, gray cable that goes to that tube. So there's a sensor for every one and then the timing is controlled by that computer right there which is essentially a standard PIC chip. Next we've got all of the control circuits that are needed to, to go from the relatively low voltage, low amperage computer to the extremely high voltage um, SCRs which are actually used to dump the capacitors into each of those coils. So, just to give that general overview, now starting at the front, there's actually two sensors that are just kind of hanging off in mid-air. The reason for that is that they're used to measure the velocity. So those two sensors are 18 centimeters apart, and when firing, it will do about 2.5 milliseconds from the first sensor to the second sensor. So if you've got your oscilloscope hooked up, you can see that it takes exactly 2.5 milliseconds, and that proves that the machine is going at about 70 meters per second or so. You can also see the first couple of coils are not hooked up to anything. They've just got wires hanging out there. The reason is that, frankly, I didn't feel like finishing them, to be honest. Uh, the machine is already pretty complicated, and I was really looking forward to being done, so I just kind of called it quits after having hooked up about eight of the coils. So, moving on back though, now you can see each of those different coils. We already talked about the computer, the firing equipment. There's two displays that uh, kind of work questionably, I'd describe them. The bottom one tends to flicker and it's supposed to give you the voltage on the capacitors. The top one reads the voltage on the battery. So you can see that the battery is right now at 28 volts, which is about right. It's a 24 volt battery. The other thing that it has, if you can see this, there's just a really faint red light that comes on when I hit that button. That's supposed to tell you the voltage on the capacitors. Right now, all of the cap all the capacitors are discharged, so you won't really see anything on them. The only other things that are really interesting, a lot of wires on that control panel, and then you can also see the trigger up in front. The uh, bottom one is actually the charge button, and the top one is a really light switch to allow it to actually fire. So, if you want to see those, there are other videos of them, but this is uh, just giving a general overview. I guess one last thing we should probably do, though. We've got the battery down here. Um, looks like it's, yeah, 5 amp hour, 24 volts, so it's like 16 C-sized batteries. There is a voltage regulator in the back here that allows it to provide the 5 volts that the computer and some of the other equipment needs. If we kind of rotate it around, Back there you can't see it, but there's essentially a switch um, a switchboard that connects all the different parts to each other so that they can communicate. And way down here we've actually got the charger itself. So that is pretty much an overview of the accelerator.